I think so. I think we, uh, you know, the, the players that, uh, you know, we generally, uh, you know, targeted, uh, you know, to get onto our list, get onto our radar, um, you know, we felt that that's obviously a, a very big, uh, big component. But as you start getting into the draft, you know, there's, there's uh, different strengths that, uh, you know, other players have as well that, um, you know, come uh, factor into uh, to different uh, situations. No goalies today. Does that say something about how pleased you are with your depth there? Well, you know, we uh, uh, we did draft uh, you know goalies in, in the past couple of drafts, so I think that uh, um, you know this year it was something that um, it wasn't conscious that we didn't, but it was uh, you know something that um, you know the, the players that um, we did pick we uh, we liked uh, you know maybe a little bit more than uh, what was around for us around uh, picking a goalie. You drafted two 20-year-olds, if, if I'm not mistaken, today. That seems to me a bit unusual. Well, you know, again, I think there's different, um, you know, different time frames, uh, you know, that, that people can turn pro and people can do different things. And it's all, you know, it's all going to be about their development moving forwards, whether they're, you know, 18, you know, 17, 18. We drafted also one player that, you know, was really uh, just draft eligible only by a couple of days as well. So a, a young player. So, uh, you know, again, you factor those things, uh, you know, into the equation, but it's, you um, you know, it's all about, uh, again, creating depth within your organization for, uh, you know, for, for different prospects. Uh, well, you know what, we, um, we, we came in with seven picks. We, we ended up picking seven players, you know, stockpiling some picks for next year's draft was something that, uh, you know, we did come in saying if there was, um, if we felt we were going to get our players late in the draft that, uh, um, that we could get to see if we could move down. We ended up, uh, you know, acquiring a, an extra pick uh, when we moved uh, the rights to uh, uh, to Eddie Pasquale, so um, you know we had some uh, some you know picks that uh, we, if we could find a way to move into next year to uh, to have those assets moving forward, that was something we were looking forward to. Stasky said he's going to go to Wisconsin. Uh, Franklin is the other. Franklin, is he going to Mankato? Mankato. Yeah. So they're both college-bound yeah. guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just going back to yesterday, the cap number. Uh, how do you think it'll affect your budget? And, uh, what you're operating in going into free agency with the 69. Well, it's good to have some certainty, uh, you know, from uh, that perspective. Um, you know, obviously, we'll have to uh, go back to, uh, you know, to uh, to our uh, organization and, and see where things factor in there. But I think, uh, you know, uh, everybody now has certainty, and uh, with the free agency right around the corner, I think uh, once now that the draft is over here, everybody is going to maybe take a short breath and then, uh, you know, take a look at, uh, you know, what. Um, what's in store for them over the next you know, week to 10 days here now. Can you talk a little bit about Glover? He's your highest pick today, yeah. um, what you liked about him? And... Well, he's got good size, he moves very well, you know, good two-way defenseman. Um, you know, again, coming from a, a real strong uh, you know, development program, the U.S. development program is a real strong program. And, uh, you know, and obviously going to college to, uh, to be able to um, you know, continue to grow and, and, uh, you know, and, and develop in those regards. And, um, you know, again, he's... Uh, uh, for us, uh, uh, getting him in the third round is uh, something that um, you know we were you know, very excited about because uh, you know obviously where we had him on our list was uh, you know was uh, not in that realm. Not having a second round pick, you're you're really uh, you know kind of uh, at a challenge to see where um, you know where you might get a player. But uh, when he was available, um, you know, we actually looked at uh, you know maybe trying to package something to to move up into the uh, later parts of the second round, but we couldn't. Uh, couldn't find a match for it, so we were happy to, uh, to to get a player that we liked. When you look at the arms race at center in the West, now you see these teams. It's not good enough just to have one elite center. You got to have two now. How do you, as a team trying to close the gap, how do you deal with that? Well, you know, I think like any any team, you know, you're, you're uh, you know, for us, you know, first and foremost, you're trying to draft and develop, and uh, but in the uh, the other side of it, you're looking, you know, at, at free agency and. You know, a lot of times those things, uh, you know, aren't necessarily there uh, for everybody. You know, someone might, you know, get the, uh, you know, the, the couple players that are there. But, you know, you look at it from a trade perspective and, um, and sometimes you just end up staring at it because it's, uh, it, it is something that you, uh, you're consciously trying to do, but there's only opportunities, you know, maybe to do it at different times. So, um, you know, you know, not, nothing's ever final. You're always, you know, looking and talking and trying to see. But, but again, it's uh, you know, you see where the uh, you know where the teams that uh, that are at the upper echelon of, of certainly the Western Conference and the teams that we have to play on a nightly basis. You see where their strengths lie. Yeah. Does that put pressure on you to match it or change well, what you're trying to do? You do what you can do. You're always uh, you're always trying to you know uh, get better, regardless of whether 
someone else uh, you know gets uh, you know gets the, that centerman or that defenseman or that goal scoring winger or whatever it is you're always uh, you know looking to fill in the pieces and it's uh, there's 29 other teams that are uh, you know have that same notion in mind what are your top priorities going into free agency well, I think uh, you know. Obviously, we've got uh, um, you know some room to fill at uh, at forward, and uh, you know we'll uh, start addressing that uh, you know as quickly as uh, as possible. And uh, you know we'll take a step back, evaluate where uh, you know where things are after the draft here today. Where, as you mentioned, the cap now, what uh, what implications that might have on some other teams and and uh, just the market in general. Are there some guys you've decided not to give qualifying offers to? Uh, you know what? I, I haven't reached out to uh, to Setaguchi's agent yet, but um, you know that uh, the the other agents I have had uh, some forms of conversation with. Where uh, you know where that goes, uh, you know, obviously it's a it's a unique period of time here right now where um, you know you can all teams can you know legally speak to uh, all free agents. So uh, we'll use the time here over the next couple of days to uh, you know to, to finalize either some. Uh, you know, some thoughts in our mind and, and um, you know, move forward with uh, some concrete offers maybe for some of our own guys and uh, then wait and see what happens on July 1 maybe for some others. Did Jaleen tell you the story of the pact that he and Comrie made when they were 10 years old? You know what, I, I had heard a little bit about that and, uh, you know, it's amazing. We kind of chuckled at the uh, table that, uh, you know, we knew they were best friends and, uh, and, and kind of joked about that. And last year we ended up uh, drafting a, a cop from Michigan who's one of the best friends of Jacob Truba. So, uh, you know, maybe it was a little bit of a trend there. But, uh, you know, it's great to see that, you know, players in our organization uh, have a bond already even before, the, you know, they get to development camp or, or training camp or, or the such. So it's, um, we are trying to build one family here and it's, uh, it's great to have a head start on it.